Juicy chrysalises that have holes in them. Calcid wasps have escaped. They've eaten what should have been the butterfly. Before this happens, you'll see chrysalises, their segments will be separated like these. Now I'll go ahead and cut this open and show you a picture of the larva that's inside. Here are the calcid wasp larva. They overwinter and in the spring they'll complete their development. They'll be waiting then for jaying caterpillars and soon as the caterpillar sheds its skin to reveal its chrysalis, the calcid wasp will lay hundreds of eggs on the soft tissue and then the chrysalis will harden, the eggs will hatch, and the cycle will happen all over again with the larva developing inside of the chrysalis. And when they're developed, then they'll exit out of the chrysalis. And instead of getting beautiful butterflies, you'll get hundreds and hundreds of these calcid wasps. I found these chrysalises in the butterfly house that had been parasitized. So I put them in this plastic cup so the calcid wasp wouldn't get all over in here. You can see the little guys are flying all over the place inside of the little cup. So. So they can just uh, stay in there, it's a good place for them.